Hi, today I'm going to show you how to use the power analyzer. After you turn on the device, it's really um, common to reset the setting that previous owner had used. You need to go to menu, go to file, go to reset, go to reset to default. Now your instrument will reset to default. And this reset will not reset the four wire setting. So in this case, this channel four wire setting is off, but for this channel, four wire is on. If you use two wire sensing, which is the most simplest way to do, you need to go to your module, which is module two, and you go to setting, navigate to advanced, and make sure you're using local sensing, which is using two wire. After you set up like this, you need to set up the your voltage of your supply voltage. But in this case, I'm going to set 3.3 volt. And you also want to set up current limit to prevent short circuiting. When the short circuiting, the current will go to 3 amp, it will likely damage your device. So in this case, I set 0.2 amp, which is 200 milliamp. After this, you can go back to meter view. If you press again, you can zoom in. So now we set up a voltage 3.3 volt with current limit 0.2. So we can turn on the machine, turn on this particular channel by pressing this. So you can see the LED is blinking. So our circuit is working correctly. And you can see the current is fluctuating because um, my LEDs were flashing and they will show you my power consumption. If you want to see the plot of current voltage and power, you need to go to scope view. Uh, you need to enable channel 2 for voltage, current and power. If you press auto trigger, sorry, auto scale, so you can see your real time current voltage and power consumption. If you turn off, everything will go flat. And you can also capture your data through data logger function. Before you start data logger function, you need to set up your data logger properties. For example, you need to go to properties. You want to set up your uh, voltage range. In this particular module, we have auto ranging function. For current, we also have auto mode. This is only support in a, a particular module. You see this is uh, the window screen, which means this green channel, which is in channel 2. If we switch to channel 4, which is the purple one, and if I try to use the voltage um, auto ranging, which they don't have, you need to choose the voltage according to your assumption. If you choose the wrong one, for example, if your circuit is uh, operating at 3 volt, but you choose 1 volt, you won't be able to log any data through data log function. So let's go back to channel 2. So we also need to set up what kind of a parameter you want to track. In this case, we want to track voltage, current, and power. And we also want to set up the duration. Um, maximum time of duration is 30 seconds for this case. But we can also stop earlier than 30 seconds if we capture all everything we want. And you, know, you, will, you, will, you would also want to set up the sampling period. In this case, I want to sampling period is 0.5 millisecond per sample. We want to set up the file name as well. You can choose to use internal space or 
more likely you will use a USB dongle to store them in the external devices and it would be nice to add a timestamp in each file so you won't know which is which so let's go back to the setting and make sure the setting we we selected is the one we want and we go back to data logger and we start to run and we turn on the device and the after we press the run or stop button the device will capture all of the current voltage and power if you want to stop just press stop the instrument will say oh you stopped before completion stop before 30 seconds and it will capture everything after i press run then stop recording when i press stop so now we can have this file and it's in the usb dongle we can copy this file into computer to re to view the, the data we just captured.